Uh -huh. We are now at Talosi. This is where Morana Mushashwe found his nation. And this place, before it was not known as it is, it was called Kluwani before. Kluwani is the mountain at the southern side of this mountain. There is the Konikated Mountain where the structure of Basuta Head comes from. So this name, Kluwani, is the name that has been named by the Bushmen because this place it was inhabited by uh, the sun. As you know, the Bushmen live like the wild animals. They live by hunting all the times until they left this place. They get themselves in the free state. When they were there, the farmers, means the boars, drove them by the can point until to the Kalahari Desert, even Botswana, that's where they are today. After those people to go, there is another people who came here, we call them the Bakwena of Manzani. Those Bakwena, they came with one man called Mutingwe. Mutingwe is an, the hunt man. He used to go around by hunting until he knew this mountain, how it is. And one day he asked for a mischief to go up there get Utamuti to go and see his brother. His brother was called Mui. He's a man who initiated with Morena Mushashu at Malawani. So this man, when he gets there, get, there is a battle between the Batlok and the Basutu. The Batlok dropped the Basutu from the place called Kushiani and and were surrounding them. Lucky enough, when this man Mutim arrived, he met Mahali, which is the half-brother of Mushesha, and he tells Mahali about this mountain. So Mahali sent uh, this news to Mushesha, his brother, and Mushesha decided to leave Butabute now, so he transferred from Butabute to Tabuksi. He spent nine days from Butabute to here, and he arrived here at nine after nine days. Since from that time when they arrived, they start to build the walls up there to close the passes, thinking that sometimes the enemies can come behind them. So if the enemies come, they get there is no chance to climb this mountain. So after that, they sat down and named this mountain. They call it Taba Busibu, which is the mountain of the night. So since from that time until today, we call it Taba Busib. So after Mushesha be here, there are some battles between Mushesha and he and uh, other people. The strongest battle has been between Mushesha's people and uh, the Boers, because the leader of the Boers called John Ramsey, some of the Basuta crossed the borders and caused all the farmers' cattle. So he asked Morena Mushesha to pay him. 10,000 cattles and we should have got such cattles. He asked Morana Mushesha to, to pay him and Mushesha said, please can you give me a chance to pay uh, bit by bit until finish to pay that amount of cattle and Bram said Mushesha, what I want is that 10,000 cattles within three days and three days if pass I can come by myself to come and collect those cattle. Unfortunately, after three days, Brand sent the soldiers to come and fight the Basutu. So they come and try to climb this mountain, but they didn't because Morana Mushesha and his people defeated them. Mushesha rolled him stones until kill 11 farmers and nine of them are serious wounded so then of them are slightly wounded. so by that time those other farmers they took those who are died and those who are died and uh, those are wounded they come down with them when coming down there is only two farmers hiding themselves up there which is low webinar the leader of that group and his assistant adam robin Hamer. and those people, they tried to go and open the wheel and Basuto rolled in the stones and killed them too. So those two farmers have been killed up there late. But the farmers were afraid to go and collect those people. They wait until at night. By the twilight, 
two brave men, Christian Durand and Kalmevi, they tried to go and collect those people. But instead of taking them up, instead of taking them down, they took them up. They tried to bury them up there and they leave them without burying them properly. Then they go down. So after that, Morena Mushesha, by the following day, he dig properly and bury them properly there. So those two farmers have been buried there temporarily because in 1866, the son of Lord he came and asked the remains of his father and Mushesha allowed them to take those bones. They took those bones and sent them to Bloemfontein, from Bloemfontein to Constantia, Cape Town, at the farm of Lovapana, that's where those bones are being buried today. That is that.